might have run the round, but we didn't by any means knock them out. Uh, so, uh, you know, we, we got a lot of racing left to go. With 35 laps to go, Brad Keselowski squeaked out just ahead of Jimmy Johnson on the backstretch after a sequence of green flag pit stops, then sailed away to almost a three-second lead by the time the checkers flew on the Geico 400, the first race of the 2012 Chase for the Sprint Cup at Chicagoland Speedway Sunday. Kozlowski and Johnson traded the top spot back and forth for most of the race. It was the Michigan natives' first chase win, making a statement for Penske Racing crew chief Paul Wolf, who brought a brand new race car for his 28-year-old driver. After the race, Kozlowski, who started the event in 13th, said his Miller Lite Dodge was a real hot rod. Our team just did a phenomenal job of executing. I uh, made some key adjustments during the race that got my car running really, really strong. Uh, certainly there was a lot of other good cars in the field as well, uh, but uh, just proud of the effort and proud of uh, what we were able to do, you know, for those that were listening before, and, uh, you know, forgive me for being redundant, but, uh, you know, it feels like uh, round one of a heavyweight title bout, uh, just it's a 10-round bout. Pole setter Johnson, who led the most circuits during the 267-lap affair, held on to second place in his Hendrick Motorsports Lowe's Cobalt Tools Chevrolet. Overcame some adversity through our practice sessions. Uh, sat out on pole, led a lot of laps today. Um, flawless on pit road, race strategy, um, you name it. We, we had a very, very solid day. Um, of course, would have loved to have won the race, but um, we'll take second and go on. This is a fantastic way to start the chase. Casey Kane, who started sixth on the grid, hunted in the top five all day to pull off the third place finish behind his teammate in the Farmers Insurance Chevy. I was slipping a little more than I would have liked to off the corners and uh, we weren't able to get a handle on that. Uh, tried to lead a lap there with Jimmy and just wasn't able to get by him. We, we battled for about three laps there through the middle part of the race and uh, ended up third. I think around there most of the race. So it was, a, it was a solid run for us. Our whole Farmers Insurance team did a really nice job and a nice nice start to the chase. Kyle Busch raced to a fourth place result after starting 21st. Brian Newman rallied to fifth from 20th, just ahead of his teammate Tony Stewart, who started in 29th. Joey Logano landed seventh, while Dale Earnhardt Jr. finished off eighth in Joliet. With his victory, Keselowski now leads the NASCAR chase for the Sprint Cup standings for the first time by three points over Johnson. Stewart moves up to third, eight markers back. Denny Hamlin, who ran out of gas on the final lap, dropped from the point lead to fourth, 15 points out, the same as Casey King, who is now fifth. Next Sunday, September 23rd, the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series sweeps to New Hampshire Motor Speedway for the Sylvania 300, the second race of the 2012 chase.